This is part 31 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss page refresh issue that may arise when we refresh or load the same web page again. First, let's understand what this page refresh issue is all about. We will continue to work with the same example that we worked with in our previous video. At the moment, we are on slash home, so we see the home page information. Let's navigate to slash students, where we can see the list of student names. Now, when I click on any student name, we can see that specific student details. At this point, when we refresh or reload this web page, look at what's going to happen. Let's reload this web page by right clicking on the web page and then selecting reload. Notice we have lost the student details and we have also lost the styles of the web page. Let's see what errors we are getting. To see the errors that we are getting, let's launch browser developer tools. To launch browser developer tools, I'm going to click on the settings button and then select more tools and developer tools. This should launch browser developer tools. And look at the number of error messages we are getting back. We are getting three error messages. And all three error messages say the same thing. Uncaught syntax error, unexpected token, angular bracket. These error messages does not provide any useful information. At this point, I'm going to reload this web page by simply clicking in the address bar and then pressing enter. Notice we get a different message here. Resource interpreted as style sheet, but transferred with MIME type text slash HTML. And this message is referencing this style sheet, styles.css. So basically, this is telling this style sheet, styles.css is transferred with MIME type text slash HTML. Maybe that's the reason why we are losing styles on our layout page. To fix this issue, all we have to do is move this base href tag from the bottom to just below title tag within the head section of our index.html page. This should fix that issue. So let's save our changes and let's go back to home page. And what I'm going to do is close developer tools and then press Control R. And at this point, let's navigate to slash students, we can say list of students, and then I'm going to click on one of the student names, we can see student details, and at this point, look at this, when I select reload, we don't have that problem anymore, or when I click in the address bar, you know, and reload the web page, again, we don't have that problem. Let's also press Control R and Control F5. So with any of these, we don't have any issue now, either with page refresh or page load, the page is still continue to work as we expect it to work. Thank you for listening and have a great day.